Hey finders and welcome back to Fortune Finds. Gigi Gorgeous, this is her duo blush palette. I saw this and was like, oh my God, the pinks in this are freaking beautiful and I want my whole face to be as beautiful as this blush palette. So I picked eyeshadows that match this. I picked a lip liner, a lipstick, everything matches this hence why everything on my face matches. So if you are a girly girl or just, you know, someone that really likes pink, then you are really gonna love this video. If you are not yet subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and also click that bell button next to it. This way you get a notification every time I'm uploading a video here on my channel. I am attempting really, really hard to upload twice a week. I think I did it for two weeks in a row. Last week I only uploaded one. YouTube is not my full-time gig. I do work full-time. I kind of just, you know, do my best. And if I upload twice a week, I'm really thankful that I can upload twice a week. And if I can only upload once a week, I'm really thankful that I can at least upload once a week. So click that bell button really being the moral of the story, because that gives you a notification every time I'm uploading and also be subscribed because if you just click the bell and you're not subscribed, you're not going to get a notification. So without further ado, let's stop babbling and let's get on to my quick monochromatic makeup tutorial and then to moisturize i used my pons dry skin cream as i always use along with my belief moisturizing eye balm which i always use my nyx plump it up lip plumper which i always use and to do my brows today i used the bh cosmetics duo brow pencil in the shade brunette i don't know what's going on with my brows but i don't want to question it my brows have really been growing in very nicely lately so i really haven't been having to do them too much Thank you, brows. It's really true that as you get older, you really realize that your mom is always right. Ladies and gents, take your vitamins. Like I've been taking a multivitamin religiously for the last two months. And I've also been taking a hair, skin and nails pill. And my hair has never grown faster in my life. Like it was literally to here, like three, no, like four months ago, I would say. So let's go ahead and let's hop into it because I'm doing a lot of talking when I said that this was going to be quick. So I have a beauty blender. This is the actual beauty blender. It is damp. I ran it under water and then I squeezed it, the excess out, and then I squeezed it in a paper towel. Heart tape shape and I am in the shade light neutral. I'm just going to put this wherever I need it. I don't want to do like a full face of foundation today. So I am just taking this wherever I need a little extra coverage. So as you can see, that kind of just took most of the redness away from my face, which is really my number one concern. I have a lot of redness, especially around my mouth. Honestly, this is one of my favorite stick foundations. I used to really love the Hourglass stick foundation, but this one has just really been my go-to lately. This is the Clinique Chubby in the Nude Foundation Stick, and I'm in the shade Voluptuous Vanilla. Now, I like to take this, and I actually like to contour with this. This is quick and easy and something that I do during the week. So I'm just going to take this and contour my face with it. Now this is not too, too dark. Like usually the contours that I use, as you guys know, are a little bit darker than this. We're going for soft glam today. I don't want any harsh lines. I don't want to look like I'm wearing too much foundation. I'm going to go in and I'm going to stamp this in and it's going to give like a really subtle contour. And then I'm going to take my ring finger and I'm going to run that contour in a straight line down my nose. This is what I would typically do Monday through Friday. And like this right here is all of my skin. There's no makeup here. There's no makeup here. There's no makeup here. And there's no makeup here. Since I want this to be a little bit more glamorous, I'm going to go back in with my concealer. I'm just going to put some underneath that contour, a little bit more underneath my eyes, just right here. And I'm going to put a little bit here. So I'm just going to blend this out. Now I definitely want to use a pinkier highlight and I just received this in the mail and I'm such a big fan of this. This is Jolie Cosmetics Spectra Stick. It is a highlighting stick on my ring finger and I'm going to pat this on the highest points of my cheeks and I'm not drawing it on my skin. Like I'm not going in with the stick on my skin because I feel like it looks more natural when you work from the product. It gives like a nicer finish, really pretty dewy glow. I love that. I'm going to take some down my nose. 
a little bit on my cupid's bow gg gorgeous blush palette i'm a really big fan of gg i find that she is just like so fun and so happy and i love someone that's fun and happy oh wait i kind of want to go in with my bronzer before this though okay so i'm going to go in with my bh cosmetics this is the brilliance bronzer in the shade golden gal you guys know i really really like this bronzer and i'm gonna and i'm gonna blah, 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 and i'm gonna go in with this fluffy brush and i'm just going to follow along very very lightly where i put that clinique foundation and i'm just brontouring so we are continuing the contour but now it is with bronzer contour my nose a little bit i'm taking that on a little angled fluffy brush with Gigi, as i was saying she seems like someone who just like really loves life and i like that so i'm gonna go in with just the matte and i'm gonna keep it to the back of my face to really lift the cheeks so i'm not putting it on the apples i'm gonna save that for the blush topper and i really like this blush because it's kind of got like a brown shade to it and i find that really flattering it also makes me look a lot more tan than i am because i'm not tan at all i'm gonna take what's ever left on this i'm gonna put it down my nose a little bit on my chin and then i'm gonna dab some in the center of my forehead just because i like my complexion to really match when you're going in with a monochromatic look whatever you put on your cheeks i like to put on my lids just a dusting just to tie all of that in the shinier blush because this does have flecks of glitter in it i don't know if you can see that and i'm gonna hit this on the apples of my cheeks and then bring it up and this does soften the blush out a little bit which i like bring some down the nose put the rest on the chin and then here and then i'm gonna go in and put it on the lids as well essence brighten up banana powder that broke I promise one day soon I will stop telling you all that I'm pissed that it's broken, but just not today. I'm just going to set my under eyes. And you know, I'm going to highlight the sides of my nose just to bring that nose contour out. You guys know I'm like weird with my nose contour. My nose is very crooked. Now we're going to do a soft glam eye look. So no eyeliner, which is kind of disappointing because I've been on a heavy eyeliner train which thank Jesus Lord, because I've gotten so much better at it. It's not even funny. Morphe times Jeffree Star palette. And we're gonna play with a few of the pinks, a fluffy brush. This is a Jaclyn Hill Morphe JH31. And I'm gonna grab 1985 right here, which is this really light crease shade. We're just gonna do like a really pretty blown out eye that matches the rest of the face. Focusing that on the outer corner and then bringing it in underneath my eye i'm going to connect them in the outer corner i'm going to take that same brush and i'm going to go into the shade back which is a little pinkier so we were just in this one which is a pinky peachy shade and now we're going to hop into this pinkier shade a little bit lower and i'm actually going to put it like all over my lid and bring it underneath the eye as well let's go into the sparkly shade in this palette and this just goes to show that you can use any makeup anywhere i'm going to take it on my finger and i'm going to put this in the center of my lid focusing it in the center and then i'm going to take what's ever left and put it all over the mobile lid take a pencil brush and i'm just gonna get it with some setting spray same shade and i'm going to put it in the inner corner of my eye and wow that is really amplified with some setting spray. That is very pink. Hop back into my bronzer, smaller fluffy brush, and I'm just gonna put this in the crease, but I'm gonna keep it away from that pink. So I'm gonna keep it to the top and I'm gonna lift my eye and just put it right there. And I'm gonna put some underneath the eye as well Okay, I think that is definitely what I needed. I kind of looked like I had pink eye for a second. It was just like too pink and I needed some kind of warmth in here. Surfy Botanicals Daisy and Pearl Natural Radiance Booster. My fluffy highlighting brush that I love so, so much. What is this? This is from SL Miss Glam. This is their SG 
62 and I'm gonna pop this right here yes brush my brows up essence make me brow in the shade soft brownie brows this is like a light brown eyebrow mascara and i'm gonna take off any of the excess because this is brand new and i feel like this could definitely make a mess and i'm just gonna brush the brows up oh jesus there's so much product on this spoolie i'm gonna go in with that spoolie again just because i feel like there was a lot of product on that brush because I did just open that brow gel. Now our brows are up and awake and they're alive and I love them. I'm using my Tweezerman eyelash curler. Collab the Works Wow Effect All-in-One Mascara. They really like put way too much product in this mascara. Oh my god, my mirror is a mess. How embarrassing. I should have cleaned that. So much product on this wand. Okay, I'm gonna go in with Dying Mascara, my L'Oreal Telescopic, just because I really like this wand. And I'm just gonna maneuver the mascara that's already on my lashes. You guys know, I had to find a way to put eyeliner in this because just want to so i'm going to take the sinful colors stop and stare gel eyeliner in the shade seductive it's just like this really pretty light pink that i feel like ties in really well with this look and i'm just going to put this on my waterline l'oreal telescopic mascara and just coat the lower lash line and then we will move on to lips i've never used this before i bought this a couple weeks ago my sister and i went to ulta and i convinced her that we needed kim kardashian lip liners because just I really like the colors so this is the KKW Beauty and this is the lip liner in the shade zero I'm gonna go ahead and just pat that out because you don't want to really like see the lip liner I literally line my lips in like 30 seconds and it matches my lips really well that's super pretty. And then I found this this weekend when I was going through my liquid lipstick collection. There's going to be a liquid lipstick declutter and I'm going to give you guys all the tea and all of the juice on all of my liquid lipsticks. I love a declutter video. I did one a few months ago. I decluttered my bullet lipsticks and I gave you guys so much tea and I cannot tell you how much feedback I got from that video. I gave you guys like the pros and cons of every single lipstick that I own. It was a really in-depth video. Stay tuned for that. If you're in the market for some liquid lipsticks, um, watch that video before you buy any. Bare Minerals, shade Infamous. I think it goes really well with the eye look. This is really pretty. I think this is super super feminine now please keep in mind you can do this with any shade so say you are not a pink girl maybe you're not a girly girl maybe you're just someone that doesn't really like pink maybe you like purple maybe you like green maybe you like orange orange would be bomb that would be like a bomb ass fall look you can even do this with browns the idea just being you pick one shade and you go about it and you match the rest of your face so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did and you would like to see more videos like this please be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. Leave me some love in the comments. Let me know. Did you learn anything from this video? What do you think about this look? Would you like me to do a monochromatic look in another color? If you would like to see that, please let me know what your color preference is. Also subscribe if you've not yet done so yet. A lot of you guys watch my videos and you are not yet subscribed. And I would appreciate it if you did subscribe because it means a lot to me and it just, it makes me feel like you guys really want me to be here and you guys really want me to upload these videos. I mean, no offense, even if you, you know, didn't want me to upload videos, I still would simply because I really love makeup and I get total and utter joy out of uploading and just creating this stuff. I just, I really love makeup. Honestly, I say it all the time. If you follow me on my other socials, like I could read about makeup all day long. I could read about makeup. I could read about ingredients. I could read about application techniques, brushes, anything. It's just like so interesting to me. I love beauty. I love skincare and 
every little thing in between. If you guys have any questions about any of the application process, any of the products that I use today, please be sure to leave it down below in the comment section. I love to talk to you guys. I love to talk about beauty and makeup and I love to help you. So be sure any questions, any video requests, leave them down below. I am more than happy to answer your question. I'm more than happy to upload a video answering your question. Whatever it is you guys want to see, I want to make you happy and I want to bring you what it is you want to see. I had a great time as always. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next one. Bye finders. Mm -hmm.